For people with slow computers, before taking your computer to the repair shop or even thinking about replacing it, please check out remotetechassistance.com. Also, make sure you check out the seven simple secrets to make your computer run faster. It is simple, it is free, and it is safe. Check it out at remotetechassistance.com. Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I am going to show you how to start up Microsoft Outlook with Windows. Many of you are mostly Gmail users while others tend to use Microsoft Outlook. But what if you want Microsoft Outlook to start up automatically so you don't have to do it yourself? Today I'm going to show you how to do that. Keep in mind that this will apply to all Outlook versions from Outlook 2019, Outlook 2016, Outlook 2013, Outlook 2010. Now while we're on the subject Outlook 2010, its end of support will be October 13th of next year, so all of Office 2010 will no longer receive technical support. So be sure to upgrade your Office as soon as possible. I would encourage you to use Office 365. But to get back on track, let me show you how to do this. First, you will want to click on Start, and then you will want to type in Run in the search bar. In the search bar of the Run window, you will want to type in C, Program Data, which is one word, Microsoft, Windows, Start Menu, which is two words, and then Programs. Then this window pops up. Now, to move Outlook into the startup folder, you will want to scroll down until you find Outlook, which is right here. So I'm going to right click on it and then click on copy. Then I'm going to go into the startup folder. Then I'm going to right click and then click on paste and then I will put Outlook in the startup folder. First, it will want me to click on continue to provide administrator permission. And then there you have it. Now, before we test this, we will want to right click on Outlook and then click on properties. You can either run in a, a normal window, which is wherever you leave it last. You can start it up minimized, which I will show you. Now obviously when Outlook starts up minimized, you won't see the splash screen, but you'll see on the bottom of the taskbar that there's a line underneath it, which means it is still opened. Or you can start it maximized, which I will show you. Then you'll want to click apply. You will need administrator privileges. Again, click continue and then click OK. Now, one of the benefits of having Outlook minimized at all times is when you receive an email, you will notice in the bottom right corner that an email notification pops up. Not only that, but you'll also notice in the taskbar that the Outlook icon has a little mail icon next to the program icon itself which is pretty cool. So that is how you start up Microsoft Outlook with Windows. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and check out some of my other tech videos too.